Hello and hello. Thank you very much for joining me today and welcome to Last Week in Germany, where I'm going to go over the top posts from last week on the German subreddit, mostly just to keep my finger on the pulse of Germany, make sure I'm up to date on everything going on there. You know, like if someone attempted to assassinate one of your political candidates, I wouldn't want to miss that, you know, if that happened, I'd want to know. Uh, and also just see what the top posts. There's a lot of interesting, funny posts and stuff like that. Anyway, let's do it. All right, the top post from this week. Why is this thing in the bathroom? Shouldn't it be outside? Also, won't it heat the bathroom really, really bad? I do not know what that thing is. I'm going to be straight up honest. I always try to be straight up honest. Is that... Are you guys starting to invent air conditioning? Is this like the early humble beginnings of AC. <laughs> um, it's a, It's got a fan. I mean, it's either a heater or a cooler. I guess it's a... He, I don't know. I don't know. What is that? I really don't know. He says, won't it heat up the bathroom? I don't... Let's see. We're going to have to read some comments. All right. Genius setup. An outdoor unit... Um, let's at least hope it is a heat pump. Okay, so it's a heat pump. So it can cool your house. I don't really know. I'm not super familiar with heat pumps. But I think they can, they can cool your house, right? And heat your house. Next to what appears to be a forced ventilation cover and an electrical sub-panel. Seems sketchy to me, but could be genius. Could be a 6,000 IQ move. Oh, they're using it as a heater? Who? What? Why? Is this in Germany? No way! <laughs> this is for real in Germany? We are still trying to understand how this newfangled AC stuff works. Excuse me, what? <laughs> With this device, that's no problem anymore. Oh, you know Germans are afraid about mold everywhere. Ooh, that's a good per point. Mold. Uh, that comment's too long. I guess they wanted to avoid discussion with the neighbors about the outdoor unit and installed it in a room where the additional heat and water doesn't matter. I don't know. I, I'm confused. Some people are acting like it's heating the house. Some people are saying it's, you know, a newfangled air conditioning unit to cool the house. It looks sketchy, but interesting. I'm all for it, guys. This is a very cool post. You know, there's these posts. It's kind of interesting in this subreddit, I've noticed. There's posts that are like, thank you, Germany. And then there's posts that <coughs> tell their negative experiences about Germany. But so it's interesting to, you know, hear the good and the bad. And this is one of the good ones. And it's this dude talking about how him and his dad were on a hike, basically deep in the woods. His dad had a seizure. And within 10 minutes... The first responders were there, which is remarkable. And I have seen that video or videos of the first responders going through Germany, going through the traffic. Y'all part like the sea uh, for freaking Moses and make way for the, uh, for the ambulances in a beautiful way, better than I've seen any other country do. So that makes sense that despite being deep in the woods, it only took 10 minutes for first responders to get there. And guess what? They're, they're not going to go bankrupt over it either. So that's really awesome. Um, thank you for your speedy emergency services, and thank you for looking after my dad in his time of need. I'm pleased to say he got released last night, and we're headed back to the UK. That's awesome. You love to hear it. Got served a bread roll with milk at a German bakery in Sinai. Well, that bread looks divine. Is this implying it's free? Because over here in America, sometimes you'll get free bread um, before your meal. This looks quite fancy. Um, milk? That's odd. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with that. It's in some kind of container to pour it. What are you supposed to do with that? Pour it on the bread? <laughs> I would certainly embarrass myself in this situation because I would not have an idea what I was doing. 
Is this a thing Germans do? Do I pour the milk on the bread? Hey, I'm not the only one confused. No, it's not a German thing to do. Did you order tea? Oh, boy. You could beat the milk real hard to make it butter. That's a good idea. Guess German means hard work or something. Oh. None of this makes sense from a German point of view. Nobody eats a dry bread roll. Milk has nothing to do with bread rolls. And what are fork and spoon and knife for? Well, so this is a total mystery. Okay. Okay, we got a rant. Can't y'all just ban smoking from public spaces already where people need to gather? What's taking so long? Germans have done some of the smartest things for their country compared to North America, but they haven't figured out the whole smoking is bad thing. Hmm. I remember this one particular incident that stuck out. We were on a tram as we passed by a station, watched a mother with a stroller just puffing it up with her own kid and a bunch of other small kids around. Okay. Interesting topic. I'm always a little bit torn on this topic. I mean, obviously smoking, turns out it's not good for you. But I also think, you know, it's your life. You do whatever you want to do. Especially if you're outside. In an indoor setting, it is different, you know. When you're outside, I don't think the secondhand smoke is really going to affect anybody. But um, maybe it will. I don't know. Um, I definitely understand banning it for inside public areas. I'm curious what German people think about it. I hate the people who stand a bee's dick away from the only door to get in and out of a location and smoke. That's obviously annoying. I hate that there aren't no smoking sections of outdoor restaurant seatings. Interesting, interesting. This shopping center in Frankfurt allows smoking inside. See, now that's a little bit strange. Little bit. That will not happen with in Germany with the tobacco lobbyists all over German parliament. Oh, interesting. Interesting. As a smoker, I say yes, please. It should be common sense. You can enjoy smoking, but you should avoid, sm avoid smoking on other people. Of course. You should always be courteous, you know? No matter what you're doing. Whether it's talking too loud. Americans. Um, you know? Looking and staring at people <laughs> and smoking in their face, you know, or smoking around kids. You should be courteous. Not everything needs to be like a law, in my opinion, but common sense, people. Things not to do. A hundred, a thousand percent my least favorite thing about Germany. Interesting. I wonder how big of a problem it actually is. Interesting. I guess we're mostly talking about like in a tram station or a train station. And that seems reasonable. Like, if people are packed in right next to each other, obviously you shouldn't be smoking. Or at least there should be like non-smoking areas where you can get away from it. It seems logical. Well, I think it was kind of a slow news week in Germany considering none of that was news that I just read, and I'm looking at, you know, DW trying to see, you know, what's the biggest news being covered in Germany right now? And honestly, it's mostly, or pretty much only, the Trump thing <laughs> and uh, Euro 2024, which I've already heard enough about, about the Trump thing. So, I guess Spain won the European Championships. Yay. Um, how will it be remembered in 2024? You know, I guess watch a little bit of this. Hundreds of thousands of football fans have flocked to Germany in recent weeks, converting swathes of cities into impromptu dance floors. Dutch fans, they're always in a good mood. They're always down to party. Germans <laughs> have made quite the impression as hosts. Oh, I've been loving it. Like, the people were so friendly, having a great time. Like, everyone's been so nice to us. Yeah, it's been great. The consumption of inordinate volumes cool. of German beer helped keep the party afloat. <laughs> Go on. The weather helps, the beer helps, the people are fantastic. Even if the weather didn't always play along. 
Great atmosphere, crap weather. <laughs> the tournament also highlighted diversity within Germany, offering a chance for those with immigrant roots to celebrate. Okay. We'll see how they closed it out. Together. Euro 2024 will be a fond memory for many Germans, and it supplied them with plenty of hope for their footballing future. <laughs> it does look fun. I mean, I'm not even a football. I mean, I like football or soccer. I don't know what to call it. I like that sport. It's a cool sport, but I'm not like, you know, I don't watch it. Um, but regardless, I would love to be in this crowd celebrating. I love the energy. There you go. I guess the biggest news is Euro 2024 is over. What a week. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.